Please watch the video in high quality. In this video, we will learn how to change model color through script in Unity. To illustrate, I will create a button using right click UI and button text mesh pro and click import text mesh pro essentials. And we'll name the button uh, to something like make red button and uh, we'll change its width to 200 and its height to 50 and then uh, change the pivot to 0 on the X and 1 on the Y and the anchor to top left and then 0 on the X and Y positions so if I click uh, press F on the keyboard we'll We'll see it here. Next, we will go inside the button to the text and we'll change the text to make red. And uh, we'll change the font size to 30, maybe. Um, 35 maybe and then change the color to red since it's red okay and uh, now I'll create an empty game object we'll call it models and inside that I will uh, create a 3d game object as a cube for example I'll just drag it in the model so the models are the parent and oh, is the parent and the cube is underneath it I will zoom press F zoom on the cube and we'll just orbit around a little bit and press F to zoom again here it is and I want my camera to look at this object so I'll select the camera and click or press Control Shift and F in the keyboard so that the camera is zoomed in on it. After that, we'll go to the assets, right click, create folder, we'll call it scripts, and inside this folder, I'll create a new C sharp script, we'll call it change color. And once that script is created, I'll drag it and drop it in the um, any game object or in, in the game object where the models are, where I want to change their color. So I'll just select and drag it and drop it into models. That's the parent game object. If I select the models, make sure that you can see the new script here. And I'll uh, double click the script to open it in Visual Studio. So inside the script, I declared or created a private variable of type color, call it red color, and assign the red color to it. And then I created, a, make sure it's public uh, method, so we could uh, call it in the uh, editor. And we'll, I named it change to red. And inside, I, I looped through the uh, children of uh, any given game object using a transform. We'll name it child, the variable, in transform. And then we'll, uh, I got the game object. Uh, so the variable call it game obj and of type game object equal the child dot game object. And then we'll check if uh, any game object, if it doesn't have a mesh renderer, because we need the mesh renderer in order to get the material and assign the color to game object. So if it doesn't have a mesh renderer component attached to it, that's mean it's null, then we add game uh, add component of mesh renderer to it. Otherwise we don't add to it. 
and then uh, we call the game object and get its component mesh renderer component and we'll call its material and color and assign the red color variable that we declared here I'll just zoom in to show the code clearly So if I save the script and then open the editor, now I will go to select the button, make red button, and over here on a click event, we'll add th through the plus. And because the script is attached to models, so I will drag the models object into here in the none, and then click on the no function select change color which is the script and select our method which is changed to red from here so now if i click play and i'll just change it to full hd and click the button will notice our object or our model or cube has turned into red that's it thank you Please like, subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.